So uh, we are getting new information here today, and it was a big one coming out of Texas as this morning, Texas Representative Lloyd Doggett uh, called on Biden to step aside aside as the Democratic nominee for president. Doggett is the first Democrat to publicly call for Biden to step down. And uh, we want to continue to break this down and really talk about this big moment. So let's bring in our next guest here of this hour. We are now joined by Texas Tribune politics reporter Matthew Choi. Thanks so much for being here on this really big day as we are seeing in the continued fallout from that debate performance. Matthew, what can you tell us here about uh, the representative today? First of all, thanks so much for having me. I mean, Congressman Doggett kind of broke the dam by having this announcement today, um, saying that he was calling on uh, President Biden to withdraw. Uh, I spoke with him on the phone. He said the reason why he issued this statement is because uh, he was really distressed by the president's performance during the debate. And he felt that this was too important of an election to have a candidate who he does not have 100% confidence in. That said, this, this congressman is somebody who has supported the president in the past. He is not running in a particularly competitive district. So um, he insists that this really is something coming from his own heart. And I want you to talk a little bit more about that, because what you said off the top there, I think a lot of people are really feeling this as well, especially in politics, about the dam breaking there uh, for Joe Biden. It's the very start here. We got one representative, uh, a Democrat here. Do we think now... Uh, from this one, do you think we'll get a kind of uh, trickle effect and maybe even a snowball effect? I mean, that remains to be seen. I mean, it's clear to see that there's a lot of members keeping their powder dry. A lot of members have been uh, keep, have been declining to comment, um, but or in public or in private rather, they've been saying that they found the debate performance to pretty, you know, pr pretty disappointing. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if other members come out of the woodwork and say, you know, yeah, I think we need to find a new nominee. You know, and as we go into the summer months here, we are getting closer to the Democratic uh, National Convention. Just if the Democrats want to make a move, when does it need to happen? Or is it already too late there, as uh, so many people have already uh, put their votes in the primaries to select a Biden uh, to be the nominee? I mean, a lot of it depends on what President Biden wants to do. Um, if he does withdraw, then it will be an open, um, an open convention in Chicago in August. And that could be uh, quite chaotic, considering uh, the fact that there's no real immediate uh, successor um, that uh, the party has rallied around behind. Yeah, that's uh, so true. And, uh, you know, as we uh, continue to talk about uh, this big issue, have you heard from any other um, Democrats right now that are, are thinking uh, the same things, but have it, haven't said it publicly yet? Um, well, everybody is pretty uh, clear in saying that, you know, they were very disappointed with the performance. Um, uh, some of the most notable members, however, have uh, really kind of kept their quiet on this race, particularly in Texas. Uh, Congressman Colin Allred, who's running to uh, unseat Senator Ted Cruz this year, probably the most high, the highest profile uh, election in the state other than the presidential. Um, he notably declined to comment when we reached out to him about this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is this is really just fascinating, given uh, this whole uh, political climate and really this race. I mean, on one hand, you have Donald Trump uh, that is going through all the motions, really, with all of his legal cases. And then on the other side of it, you have Joe Biden, where now the age issue is really becoming apparent and continuing to be talked about uh, during this debate performance. We look now forward to next week. Joe Biden has a big news conference scheduled here. How much pressure is going to be on Joe Biden to perform and really get those questions from the media um, uh, to be talked about? I mean, it's enormous pressure. It's probably one of the most important press conference of the campaign so far. I mean, he did try to uh, address some of the concerns immediately after the debate. He had a rally in uh, North Carolina, where he said, where he acknowledged that he did not do very well, but he said that he picked him, he was going to pick himself up. And ever since the debate, I mean, he and his surrogates have been calling up donors, uh, elected officials, trying to assuage these concerns. But this will be the first time that he really, um, you know, off script can address these concerns to the American public at large. Yeah, and that is what so many people are going to be really watching for. I was 
thinking about this earlier, uh, you know, in the news business and uh, you get we get a lot of feeds in and we continue to watch uh, President Biden when he does these uh, different events. And so we see a lot of the things coming in. But I was thinking about this where for the normal person that uh, just watches the news, you only really see a soundbite or two of President Biden from day to day. So seeing him on Thursday in that 90 minute plus, it had to be a jarring for a lot of people. Yeah, I can only imagine. And, you know, that's one of the things that Congressman Doggett cited in his decision to issue this statement today. He said that a lot of the voters who haven't had a chance, you know, to really kind of see President Biden in an unscripted environment uh, were very alarmed because this was kind of the only opportunity they'd ever seen him be able to do that. And, um, you know, he said that there was quite a bit of support back in the district for him to make this decision. Yeah, it's, it's going to be really something to watch here. And Matthew, thanks so much for joining us on Live Now from Fox. Thank you for your reporting there, especially after you talked to the representative as well. We really, really appreciate it there and continue. Uh, we'll continue to follow, see what happens next, if any other uh, congressmen or women are going to be jumping in. All right. Thank you, Mike. You take care. And we are.